Hi guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. Here on this gorgeous Sunday morning, May 21st, 2017 in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico. So uh, I need to dive into this week's Doomsday Sermon as I'm sitting out here on my <clears throat> sustainably harvested brand new cedar deck and my brand new easy chair. But before I dive into my uh, <coughs> sermon from the chicken coop, we're going to dive into the mailbag. I know I just did a, uh, a comment recently from Alert Tribes member Deanna Deemers, but uh, I think Deanna's good for another one. Take it away, Deanna. And this is uh, her response to my interview on uh, Voices of Dissent radio yesterday. Quote, most people are happy to live their mundane lives until the horror hits them in their faces. My children, my friends, don't want to step up to tell the truth or try and change their own lives, but just go along either not aware or not willing to get out of their comfort zones. Of course, people change but only when it affects them directly. Even then, most will not wake up. It's frustrating to see. If you want to lose your family and friends, just try to talk to with them about what is happening and things they could do in their own lives to make a difference, even a small difference. If people are silent, it's like agreeing and accepting the status quo. First, it's important to educate yourself. I learned more on my own than in school. I've changed my diet. I sign petitions. I share whatever I learn, but not many people will listen. We are lucky in America because if people can continue to buy their luxury homes, things, and keep getting what they want, they won't wake up to the horror of what is happening. People won't wake up without something happening to them. Trump is the poster child of our modern world today. That is exactly what Donald Trump is. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to, as long as we're talking about presidents, I think I'm going to see how far back in history I have to go to find uh, the last time a U.S. president spoke honestly about Americans. And that will be my quote of the day from good old Jimmy Carter. Coming up in one minute and then off to my doomsday sermon. From the sustainably harvested brand new cedar deck. Bye guys.